all right everybody how's it going welcome back to the channel to boy paul rado and we're back at it for another video so today we are hopping in because you on pretty much a checklist on things that you want to make sure things you want to make sure that you are doing when it comes time for the 2.5 anniversary here on one Piece. today it's going to be a quick very simple run through so if you guys want to have some future foresight then make sure to stick around for this video and since you're gonna be sticking around make sure to go down and hit that subscribe button and that like button as well to support the channel as well as make sure to hit the bell if you guys want to train your observation hockey to know whenever i'm going to post a video or go live but with all that being said make sure to grab your drinks comfortable and let's hop into this video okay so like i said earlier this is going to be a beginner's guide for one piece bounty rush so if you're a veteran player, you may know some of these, uh, but feel free to stick around if you guys want to, as well as you can stay around and critique me and maybe share some pointers down in the comments for all the new players and myself for something that I have missed up. So the first thing we're going to talk about, most important thing is rainbow gems. And I have a video, I'll try to link, leave it in the card up above, but pretty much you want to save up your rainbow gems. So that way you're able to come in on whatever the 2.5 anniversary unit is going to be we all think it's kaido for all intents and purposes video i'm going to name it as kaido fastest way to save gems uh, especially at this point is to first off stop summoning on these banners like if you're going to summon on something this one you shouldn't have summoned on this one really if you're new is good to summon on because it's four star unit guaranteed every step and the last one's free so you're gonna get um 16 four stars at a minimum which isn't bad at all especially if you run all the way through but that is also a lot of gems for a big banner that is going to be coming it within the next few weeks we should be able to we should be seeing content on it coming next few weeks number one thing do not summon this one is very tempting banner don't summon on it yes luffy is really good but He's probably going to be on the anniversary banner. They usually do that. Now a lot of these units come back. So he can definitely be seen on the anniversary banner. So with that being said, you might want to skip this. I personally say skip this. Plus there's nothing really to step up about it. Besides of the stuff you get. I mean, step up means you start low with the cost and the high. One Piece Bounty Rush just has not gotten that yet. And same thing right here. It's, I want to say similar I'm not sure this one is a new character however and it is an actual step up these units come back and they come back with higher rates for sure so definitely an easy skip plus i don't think wano brook has actually portrayed anything in the anime or manga that i personally would want to see i honestly wish we got a whole cake uh brook because soul king is very busted when it comes to handing handling fodder and he can be used very well in this game but that's step number one for rainbow gems is i i showed you the banners yes there are some tempting ones especially the three three paid for one you gotta get for free four star guaranteed all the time wonderful banner just skip it please so that way we all have a chance of getting kaido the other thing is you want to be doing as much league battle you can do you want to be doing as many challenge battles as you do i'm very slack on this one i don't really i probably could have bought the tons of treasure one but there's some free rainbow gems in there the other one is rainbow gems you get from doing solo you get so if we hop here in solo you can see all of these events that you have to do me personally i still have to do all these so if i gotta grind up a few more that's probably where i'm gonna head to take care of all these things and as long as you do these between normal and hard mode, you get, I think it was, I did the math, it was like 320 something rainbow gems, i.e. six multis, depending on where you're at. It could be seven, you could squeeze out of that. If you're new, make sure to do that. The six multis, that's at least one one through of whatever cycle of a banner they're gonna, gonna throw at us for the 2.5 anniversary. The second thing, Moving on forward to this, you want to do is make sure that you're saving up as much resources as possible. Me, I'm lacking right here, but I'm pretty sure I got a lot of coins in here that I actually need to pick up. That I'm going to probably later on stream 
which is my goal. And I'll probably pick some up from Tons of Treasure event. Uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to hop back into that or not. That is another thing you want to do is you want to watch your resources. So if you go, you go to your menu and then click on items, it has every kind of item that's in the game currently. And if you click on them, it tells you how you can get them over here and what the price is if you sell them. Don't ever sell these. That's unless you're like you're really banking on a lot of stuff. You don't really want to sell any of these just because of the fact that they are all highly usable and a lot of things you want to keep up on is the every metal that can go along with boosting a character and if you're new on it um right here where you do character boost I'll, these are going to eat up um let me go to where i need to be. these are going to list the resources that you're in whenever you're boost to them below which I believe I can find one character who is. Okay, so we're gonna look at this two years later, Luffy. Right here, it's gonna eat up. Uh, the previous step was 30, um, 20, 30, 40. So, it's gonna eat up 20 of these, and the next step is gonna eat up 30 of these. And the final step is gonna eat up 40 of these. Then when you go to boost two, it's gonna be the same thing, but with the boost two version, and it's gonna be hell because there's a two next to it right there you want to save up all of these so that way pull multiple copies or eventually you're able to get him kaido speaking to level 80 then you want to be able to unlock his boost trait right there and then once he gets to six star you want to be able to unlock it right here fully and each of these is going to be 90 of each of the hp attack and health right there and then same thing right here with defense hp attack health but whatever you want to like name those let's see what the actual thing is it's actual defense so i'm a little slow on that but it's going to be 90 of each so you want to fully boost them you're going to need 90 boost ones you're 90 boost twos get him but you also need them at six star to make that viable so just be careful that you also want to make sure whenever it comes to looking at your skills Let's see who doesn't have skills maxed out right here that you are saving up on blues and you're saving up on the orbs needed to level up your skills as well because you don't want to run a skill one Kaido. Kaido you want to run skill five if possible and that one through four is all going to eat up skill ones and skill up to skill level five is going to eat up another slot right there also another thing you want to make sure that you are doing if you're new here or trying to prep yourself for the two and a half year anniversary for one piece bounty rush is verbally you want to be in a guild or an alliance as it's called on here let me use the correct verbiage right here you have plenty of things you can send a cheer and you can also uh talk to your uh alliance members right here and what an alliance does is whenever you're special training and you send that cheer, once you rack up 10 cheers right here, then you can speed up the process on your special training to raise the levels for units. And right now, uh, at least for me, it's helping me out and I'm not sure about my other alliance members, but Big Mom is straight. She's been leveling up fast um, and I'm going to have her level 80 gameplay come to white beards level 80 by coming soon i've only pulled one copy of them I've only pulled one copy of odin as well actually yeah, i only pulled one copy of odin i think i used character frags on him but those are going to be the main things that you might want to look out for um if you're willing to spend a little bit of money then make sure to pay attention to the rainbow gem cells that are out here so that way you can rack up items and rainbow gems that you may need uh, while you're prepping for this so that's 90 gems right there that's 24 gems right there 399 cell that's going to be 36 gems right there the good stuff right there if you're willing to spend a little bit of money on the game to prep for it remind you that most likely when the 22.5 anniversary comes around that they're going to have another sale anyways just to entice some more spending so you're gonna miss out here there may be even better deal Later on, it's just up to what actually is. But if you guys found this resourceful and found this useful, make sure to share this with any friends who are new to the game or if it was something that 
I have no. Like I said before, this is mainly for beginners, uh, veteran players, or someone who's at least played for a little bit. Maybe okay with missing out with this. And like I said, if there's anything I missed or you want me to cover before anniversary actually drops, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. You guys have a wonderful day. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I'm out of here. Going up.